Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems and we've got one system today from the user Tasty Lemon Cake in Discord so massive thank you to them for sending in this system but without further ado let's get into this. So this system is just called the Time Lapse version 1.01 .01. so without further ado let's have a look into this so uh, we need to go to your workshop it should already be here for us I'll be at the bottom Go on, game. What's this all about? Right, there we go. So, let's see what we have got. Okay. Right. Time Lamps is located in a fictional universe where Jupiter is a star. How has no one ever done one like this before? Okay, this is... Ooh. Ooh. Alrighty. Uh, okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, right. Let's see what this is all about then. So... Um, this system probably would not exist in real life, although it's fun to make or fun to make think of. Well, I mean, if Jupiter did collect a little more mass to become a star, you know, it you know it could have been a whole different uh, solar system we ended up with. So the Eroquians are intelligent life of the system. They live on their home planet of Europa as well as Mars and Callisto. They only live in water and have to create special rocks for them to allow and breathe on them. Okay, stars. So we've got two stars. <laughs> Sol, so we'll see the sun. Uh, Around the size of our sun. Okay. Uh, maybe it's... Oh, maybe the sun's slightly recalculated. Then. So it's actually a little large... I mean, it basically is the sun, actually. Yeah, look at that. Um, okay. Um, the size of our sun. It's a system of 11 planets as well as a red dwarf star. So Jupiter is the red dwarf. Sits 4 AU away with 5 planets. It's also around 300, mirrors, uh, 300 million years younger than the sun. Okay, right. The soul. Right. Okay. So the planets. So this one actually has the Vulcan in here. Unbearable hellscape where temperatures can reach 650 degrees it is abnormally large iron core, which is most likely why it's so dense. So there's Vulcan, so that's the theoretical planet that would have existed, or the debunked planet that would have existed between Mercury and the Sun. Then we've got Mercury here. I mean, it's, it's Mercury. We all know what Mercury is. So there it is there. Um, okay. Then we have Venus. So here we go. So as we know, densest atmosphere makes the toxic gases. So yeah, world you don't really want to visit. So there's Venus. Okay, so Earth. Now what's happened to Earth in here? So Earth. A frozen wasteland with nothing much on it. Although it's unknown how it came so cold. There are a few theories. The planet also has three moons. Faya. What's Faya doing there? Faya, Phobos and Deimos. What? What? Right. So what? So Earth did not become the world we know it as here. So what has happened? So atmosphere. It hasn't got the atmosphere. So it's not as hot as it would have been in the real, the real Earth. So it hasn't got the temperature to warm up. So not good. Atmosphere and clouds off. It hasn't got the constants we know. So things have formed very different in this alternate reality. Phobos and Deimos. So what are they doing around Earth? Mysterious. So Theia, Earth's largest moon. So instead of the moon forming, we still have Theia here. So Theia, in this reality, didn't collide with the Earth and form the moon. So that's why the moon isn't here, because it doesn't exist. Because what would have formed the moon was the Earth and the Theia colliding. But obviously, if Earth and Theia never collided, then obviously the Earth wouldn't have ended up the way it was now. Because obviously the Earth we have in reality, that once would have collided with Theia. So Theia could have provided a lot of the water and all of the a lot of the parts that make the Earth the way it is. Because um, Theia is still effectively its own planet. So, you know, it would have brought a lot of material to Earth and traded a bit of material and all that sort of stuff. So, if Earth and Theia never collided, then Earth didn't get all that extra material and, and stuff in theory and all of that. So, peculiar. Very, very peculiar reality we've got here. But it's interesting to, to think about how would Earth ended up if... The Theia, it's still a theory, but how would Earth ended up if this theory, this Theia, never actually happened? And never actually collided with Earth? But Theia is still a theoretical sort of object. We don't know if it fully existed, but there is a lot of uh, reasons to say there is with the Moon's uh, composition. So, interesting. So, if Theia never hit the Earth, how would have it ended up? Maybe it would have been like this. So, very interesting to think about there. But why are Phobos and Deimos around Earth? That's what I want to know. Obviously, fair. So instead of colliding, they've just made like a binary planet system going on here. So interesting stuff. Yeah, Earth without 
the uh, ingredients for life there, so not good. So we have Pallas from the asteroid belt. That's chilling there as well, if you can see that. Then Vesta, so that's closer than the orbit of Mars. And then we have the orbit of Mars itself. So, Mars. So it's not actually receiving any light from the Jupiter Red Dwarf, if you look carefully. Look, it's... Obviously, Jupiter's very dim, so no light is reaching out here. So there's Mars. So... In this reality, Mars is looking different to its normal appearance as well. A beautiful green landscape with a high population of Eurocreans living in the oceans. Even though it's named after the God of War, it's one of two planets to harbour life. Okay, because yeah, I said Europa was the original one as well. So look at its stats here. 77 and 61. But it is, remember, it is smaller than the Earth. So there you go. It has one moon of Ceres orbiting. So that's interesting how Mars has picked up Ceres. Okay. I kind of want to try this theory for myself, actually, make a system with Jupiter as the star, with the sun having two stars, and try and sort of play out history differently and see how that... Would... That could be quite a good idea, actually. I quite like that. I kind of want to try my own version, actually. So I may have to uh, take a bit of inspiration from this, actually, and try and build, like, a custom system, because that is actually a... this is actually a really cool idea. I'm surprised no one's done this sooner, to be honest. Right, so Jupiter... So since Jupiter is now a star in this reality, that makes all of its moons planets. So Io, a very volcanic... You think Io was bad enough around the gas giant Jupiter or around a star Jupiter? Poor old Io is going to get absolutely scorched and squeezed like crazy. Then we have Europa here. So around a star, obviously Europa has a full ocean world with a nice atmosphere going. So it's got light from two stars as well. Obviously the sun, though, won't really provide much heat. It's all coming from Jupiter. Then we have Ganymede. Okay. So again, that's just another planet. I'm not actually reading the description because we already know these, really, don't we? So, uh, Mars. Does it have Jupiter's planet? Oh my god. The planets and moons of Jupiter. So Io, tidy locked. Europa. It's a home world. Ganymede. I mean, we know we know all the objects anyway, don't we? It's just putting a little bit of extra description on them. But yeah, there they are. If you want to read it, so Callisto. Got Tethys. It's a Tethys and. Dice. I'm not sure they would have really ended up around here because Jupiter and Saturn are in completely different parts of space, really. So There we are, though. Okay. So, Saturn, what are you doing over here? So, it's actually been collected by Jupiter. And Saturn actually has less mass by the looks of things in this reality as well. Interesting. Because obviously Jupiter would have soaked up more of the material, really. But there you are. But even if you combined all of Saturn's mass into Jupiter, Jupiter wouldn't have enough mass to become a star still because Saturn does not way near enough um, to add on to Jupiter so there's its moons as well so Saturn is the largest planet in the system see what he's done there because obviously there is no Jupiter isn't a planet it's a star all right Titan is its own planet in orbit of the Sun look at this okay 22 degrees here so Titan is colonized oh that's its moon sorry no there's Titan okay interesting so Titan has a moon called Sapphire here Interesting, okay. First major object to the outer solar system as well, being the planet with the largest dwarf planet. As well as, it's the first major object. But see, oh, Triton, Titan, Titan, there, first planet of the middle solar system. <laughs> it's easy to view all through Europa and Mars, it has one moon. Sapphire, beautiful blue dot in Titan's ring system. It's thought that the moon has a large amount of sapphire under the surface. Interesting. Okay, it's 22 degrees. So it must have a pretty heavy atmosphere here. Only one, eh? Interesting how that's got its temperature. And then Titan there sticking with the rings of Saturn, I guess. So, interesting. Okay. Uranus. How are we doing over here? I mean, Uranus would probably be just a left alone, really. It's just chilling. All of its normal moons. Titania has an extra moon. Oberon's orbiting Titania. Okay. Then we have Neptune over here. So again, Neptune, the same story. It's got Proteus there. Triton is not in orbit of Neptune here. Okay. So Triton hasn't been captured by Neptune in this reality, so it is its own dwarf planet out here. So there you are. Okay. So first major object of the outer solar system as well has been the largest dwarf planet. Yeah, because yeah, it is larger than Pluto, remember? Hey, very cool. So they've got Pluto and Charon as normal out here. Their orbits are slightly different as well. Cool. 
Then we've got Hamea, Make Make, Note, Note. Oh, Ramekonchun, Studio Mode, so in darkness. Gong Gong. Small planet on the edge of the system which homes an unknown worm creature. Okay, that's interesting. Then we have Iris, second most massive dwarf in the system, only behind Triton. Although it isn't bigger than Pluto, it orbits with its moon Dysomia. Yeah. Then we have Far Out over here, the pink, obviously, as we know. Sedna as well, chilling even further out. Nemesis. Sedna. And then Nemesis itself. Oh, an ice giant with massive rings. It's unknown. Those rings got there, but it's thought to have got them from the system's formation before it got thrown out. Nice. Interesting. Then we have Voyager. So it is a planet. I'm guessing this is the Planet Nine equivalent. Well, it actually, is the Planet Nine default Planet Nine in the game? Actually, okay. Very, very interesting stuff there. Okay. Hmm. That is that is interesting. So a far out ice giant with its sister planet Boreas. Oh, it has a sister planet. Hey. It's unknown how it got there. It must have been thrown out. So effectively, this system has an extra gas giant. Or two gas giants. They're both together, actually. Okay. So Boreas is obviously the moon with it. Slightly bigger than Voyager, although it's less mass made it. Okay. So we're even further out. We've got a world called Teach. Large ice giant is the first planet from the star. So it has a lot of, or a lot of gas objects in this version of the solar system. Interesting. And then Planets in the Jupiter, we've read all that. And then final notes. This is my first major simulation, so I'm not sorry if it's a bit basic. Well, you say it's basic, but, you know, it is fairly complex of the way you've designed this. So, you know, uh, I don't agree with what you put there. I think it is fairly complex, really. I'm going to say it's basic. Hope you enjoyed I definitely did. So, let's get the lineup here. So, obviously, Jupiter is now the star. So, we actually have a gas giant bigger than Jupiter. So, that's mysterious how that's occurred. If Jupiter's a star, then it would have picked up more mass from the sun as well to become its own star. Because obviously there's only so much material that was available. So if the sun is in its current form, then there shouldn't have really been enough material for Jupiter to become a star. So in theory, the sun would have had to have been smaller, I guess, for Jupiter to have become a star. Well, it's, it's interesting, really, isn't it? I mean, it's all just theoretical, really. And don't take what I'm saying as fact. So we've got a gas giant bigger than Jupiter. Then we've got Jupiter itself. Saturn is smaller than normal. We've got Uranus, Boreas, Voyager. Neptune's a lot smaller than normal as well. So you can see it, Uranus, Neptune, and Saturn, they have have they have less mass, which kind of makes sense that Jupiter's got more mass. But even then, that wouldn't be enough to make it a star. So the fact that there's these extra gas giants here as well, that doesn't sort of add up in my eyes. But interesting. Callisto's larger than Earth. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Mars, Titan. Titan's bigger than normal. Or, or is it? Or is Mars smaller than it should be? That's weird, actually. Is Mars smaller than what? What's going on with Mars here? Kilometers. No, okay, so Titan is bigger than normal, then. Yeah, that's that's a lot bigger than normal, Titan. Kilometers. Yeah, okay. You bro, but so all the Galilean moons are all bigger than normal as well. Mercury, look. The only thing that should be bigger than Mercury is Ganymede and Titan. So, that's interesting. Okay. Cool, but either way, a very interesting concept nonetheless. And honestly, I wouldn't mind trying to make my a, a version like this myself, actually. What if Jupiter did become a star? How would the solar system have ended up? I kind of want to try that. I kind of want to see how that would play out. So, yeah, that's interesting stuff. I really enjoyed that. So, yeah, that system again, everybody. It was created by the user Tasty Lemon Cake in Discord. So, massive thank you to them again for sending this system in. And, yeah, if you enjoyed this episode... Press that like button down below. It helps on the journey to 30,000 subscribers as we are less than a 1,000 away now. So if you press it, it really, really means the world. Really, really appreciate all your support, guys. Absolutely amazing stuff. Make sure you guys all take care out there as well. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.